Well, hi there again. It's just me. Um, what I was going to do was record. Uh, what is it? It's it, Mount of the Gods. Uh, I've just done the third battle, uh, which I won quite easily. And uh, as you can probably see, uh, I have won a card. Well, actually, uh, when you win one of the battles, you actually win multiple cards. This is the first card. The Thunder of God. As you can see, it's a God card, uh, which enables me to use my joint... Well, use my joint finger. Uh, use the cursor, I guess. <laughs> Uh, to flick or squish followers, remove abodes, or even set fire to trees. That will come in very handy. I'm not sure how much uh, faith it will use. I will find that out in a moment. But that is very handy indeed. Because, you know, I want to get rid of... Um, I want to get rid of some of the smaller abodes. Uh, to replace them with bigger ones, so that I'll get more faith from them, and so on and so forth. Okay, what's this one? A small mineral rock. That's another god card. A hidden cache of gems. Ooh, yummy. And next one. Oh, a felt resource card. Which... Ah, oh, right, I forgot that I needed one more to unlock... The family card. Da, 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 da. So that's that one. Another card completed in the book. And finally, a clay resource card. Okay, thank you. Well, 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 how about that then? So, all that just for winning the third uh, battle in the Mount of the Gods. Uh, basically all it was, was that you had to generate more population than your opponent, which was pretty easy really. You, know. you, you can kind of set your own goal. Um, I think I set it for something like four times more population than the opponent, which I kind of did. So, uh, right. Uh, one thing I would like to show while I'm uh, recording this this section, uh, I've, I've been playing for a little while now. Uh, before I started recording, I. Uh, I kind of wasn't going to re start recording because it seemed to be taking ages. Um, you see, I've got this uh, this shrine here, which is the, the land expansion one. And it's still going to take... Well, it says 52 minutes. But when you've got three followers working on it at the same time, I, I think it actually re uh, it, it triples the speed of the regeneration of the shrine, basically, because obviously, you, you, well, you've seen it before, you get like, what is like, just the stone bit in a sense, and so as they're restoring it, it's, you know, anyway. I'm guessing, I mean, I've got three guys on it, so it's going to take 51 minutes. If you divide that by three, that's roughly going to be another 20 minutes. So that was why I was not going to start recording just yet. But also, while I've got that land expansion uh, shrine on the go, I've also got a few guys on this one. Because, oh, I... I don't know if you noticed, just under that tree, just there, there are some cards fluttering around, which means there's a resource card under there. And I think there was one a little further over. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, let me see. Uh, 
let's zoom out. Uh, let's, I think there's another one somewhere that was a. Ah, there we go. Ah, actually, there are two more there. Oh, hello. Okay, so there's, uh, there's something there, and there's something there. If you can see where the cursor is. And what do we have down there? A shrine of power. Mm. <coughs> Oops, excuse me. So, okay. Uh, once my lovely followers have finished restoring that shrine, uh, one of the things obviously they'll first do, as you can see, they have uh, cleared some land to make plots. Um, but yeah, okay, so there's a resource card there, another two there. Um, not too sure if there are any more out of this way. So. But, but that's something, that was something I'd noticed before, actually. So, okay, right. Uh, but with that one, that's still got another hour and 23 minutes. So, and, and the thing, well, yeah, I didn't really start at the same time, did I? Uh, there was quite a gap in between starting that one, which, as you can see, I've done the same with this. I've, Excuse me, C cleared quite a bit of space so that uh, they can like, build up some population while uh, after they've finished restoring that shrine. Um, I've been building more about there's a, a bit more over there. Uh, there's just a couple more over here, which I click and then click yeah. those so they yeah. can get building another one, yes? Oh, now they're going to start on one each, okay. So they're going to start on another one. This is all open towards, uh, not at all, <laughs> I'm still under 2,000 uh, followers at the moment, so... Um, yeah, I'm kind of still building the boats and still doing stuff. Um, but for now, uh, I shall leave it there. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of faith to collect there because all I've been doing really is having a look around, uh, opening up some space. Uh, around the shrines in order to uh, build some abodes once they finish the shrines which with three of them they would they could probably start on either one each or they might start on just one big abode I mean they're like size three plots uh, as I say oh oh yes before I forget I was going to try uh, that thing with the finger and destroying an abode. Um, let's see, if we go down to these plots here, because they're just... Uh, let me see. Ah, I just thought um, it's going to be in this side menu, isn't it, really? Because uh, you've got your Statue of Speed there, beautiful. Aha, Finger of God. And it costs 2,000 faith points. Right, okay. Uh, what I will do, and what I wanted to do, is, and this is just a guess, I mean, because obviously I haven't done it before, <laughs> first time for everything, 
I will be destroying some of the, especially these old ones where I'm only gaining like 15 faith points. So what I will do is, if I destroy this little group here, that may open up that space for maybe one of the size 3 lodge abodes. And I'm guessing the way it works is you get so many, uh, so many seconds, kind of like with Beautify, where you get something like five seconds to beautify as much area as you can. And it's a bit, it, it's a, mm, not that good because you only get a very small circle. To kind of rub across the land so you've got to be pretty quick and you can cover a fair bit of land in those five seconds but uh, yeah the, the actual like circle of land that you beautify is not that big so it's uh, it's a it would be a very long process i'm not sure if uh, you open up a bigger guess what you might call a reticule <laughs> something I don't know um, ah, 10k you open up statue of fertility I've already got one of those so anyway okay let's uh, let's try this uh, finger of god yeah, okay stop 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 <laughs> if we just press the I for information right okay Click to directly interact with your world. Squish or flick followers, destroy abodes, set a light to trees, and mould rock into land. Ooh, unlock Team Primitive Age. Uh, cast 2000. So. Right, so casts. Aha, there we go. Behold! The finger of God. Oh crap. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of getting a bit excited about it. Be natural finger of God there. Uh, let's try it again. Okay, and we go. And kaboom. Ah, it's the top of the top there. It's, uh, ah, there we go. Now if we get. Ah. Let me think, let me wait a bit. Uh, if I wait for those to go away, then come on, click, go away. Ah, oh. the trouble is, you need to be really quick because as soon as a plot of land opens up, woof. <laughs> Followers are there, building. So, uh, well, it worked. Uh, you saw, you saw it work. Um, so that costs two thousand each time, and the same as with the beautify uh, power, you get five seconds to basically do whatever. Um, I didn't quite get to. You know, uh, get the size 3 plot. Oh, I've got a size 2 there, which is going to be good. Uh, and these abodes, it, although they're the small ones, these old sort of crappy ones only give 15. These give it like about 60, which is like four times as much. So that's not bad. Uh, these ones give, I think it's like 180. And considering that that's replacing two abodes, uh, two abodes would only give you 120, so it's a, it's a bit of an improvement. It's not that bad, I suppose. Not as bad as it could have been. No, but, uh, but there we go. Right, so that's how the finger of God works, as you see. Okay. Uh, so what I think I'll do now, to save you the boredom of watching me click all those and 
keep scrolling across the land, scrolling across the land. <laughs> uh, I will stop recording here. And then after we restart, see, in about, mm, that's going to be around the 10 to 15 minutes or so. Um, and the same will go for that one. That's going to be obviously a bit longer. Uh, apparently, I, I now have five. Oh, that would have been the gem cash, wouldn't it? It gave me five gems. Is that all? Not very good, really, is it? But anyway, okay. So for this, not well, for this session, I've waffled on for like 16 minutes now. Uh, I will stop it here and rejoin me after the blur uh, for when. The shrine is finally finished, and we will see just how much land expands from the shrines. Okay, we're back with the thrilling installment of the next shrine. And there we go. It has finally been finished. <laughs> uh, not exactly sure what's happened to the followers there. Uh, they seem to have disappeared. So, what card do we get? Land expansion, of course. Haha, <laughs> why did I even ask? And will it expand? Oh, no, oh, there we go. Alrighty then. And it takes us to there. Right, okay. Okay. This is why. I was looking for another shrine uh, that was, because I guessed it was going to go to roughly there. I don't know why, but I had this, this inkling that it would go to there. Uh, right. So, what we need to do now, if we wait for that one. That's still quite a long way away, so don't worry, I'll be uh, pausing the video again, ready to ready for when that eventually finishes. Uh, well, the thing is, it's going to go roughly kind of about there, I guess, let's see. Uh, because some of them really do expand a lot. And some, not so much. Uh, this will probably go, I am going to guess, to about there, about the that sort of indent valley bit there. I'm going to guess it goes roughly about there, because I think, aha, that is, yeah. There's a, a shrine just there, which is another shrine of expansion, and that will take it obviously over all that way. Which that's another part to come yet. Um, as you can see, I mean, I've got all this un unlocked, but the problem is, is getting my people over there. Because I have got nothing or no one that have come this, this far. So, as you can see, just just there, there's another shrine. That's going to be a, 
Oh, I don't know. That's going to be another shrine of expansion. So, yeah, I've, I've not not bothered with that side. I'm kind of working on this other side. So, right, uh, I will be pausing it there, and I'll start again when that one's almost done to show you the the result. Okay, this one's almost done. Let us just uh, check the time here. So we're coming down to the last 30 seconds now. And in no time, we shall have more land expansion. Uh, I've just been having a look around on the other parts. I can't seem to find uh, where the other shrine is to be able to expand even further so let us click on this one and see where it goes Well, it looks like we've got a bunch of uh, swamp land there. Now, this is the thing I noticed when I was talking about it with the beauty forest before. Uh, and what I've noticed, I, don't, I noticed in... Uh, is that just... Oh, right, it's okay. Uh, it's just like... The brightness of like the side of the uh, the thing there. Right. Um, okay. Uh, as I was saying, um, let's see where it went to. Well, there's that valley that I was mentioning, and it does seem to have stopped there. So it has gone as far as I thought with this one. Right, uh, but it does seem to have spread up this way quite a lot. Well, look at that, that's uh, rather far, isn't it? How is that? Okay, let's uh, uncover this chest here. I just noticed. Uh, well done, man, that's, that's just a graphical. Glitch. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's just clay. Don't need that for anything. Right. Um, let's see. And it's... It's spread to there. Alright. It appears to have left a big V shape. But apologies if you can hear something in the background. It's... Um, Somebody vacuuming. <laughs> um, right, so we've got a big V shape there of uh, one clan land, but there doesn't appear to be another shrine to be restored to expand more land. So Ah, okay. May need a little help. Uh, I think I'll have to do a little Google searching, or if anybody knows, uh, let me know in the comments if you if you watch this far. And if you do, well, thank you very much uh, for joining me on my quest for godly stuff thing. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, let's open this chest with the, in this one. A plaster resource card. Ah, oh, now that's handy because uh, it that, that is something that uh, I'll need, or most likely need fairly soonish, uh, I'm guessing. So. Uh, now, where was that other one? Uh, where's the shrine? There. There was a card just under these trees. 
not a card, uh, some floaty cards. So if we get rid of these and uh, let's start clicking. Kind of hoping it's not gonna require me to you know, create a massive crater or something just for the sake of you know, crappy card of uh, some resource I don't really want or need. So. Let's, uh, I think it probably will because I mean if you look that one there and the one over there I think it's it's gonna require some what epic excavation. And the, the thing is that the way that this works with like the double clicking and the way that the land kind of erodes away as you click, it's not exactly ideal. Um, crying, come on, I'm clicking away here, nothing's happening. Come on, man. The crying out loud. Aha, there we go, that's not too deep. Yeah. What do we have this time? Something special? Oh, now that's a new one. Cowl. Okay. I don't think I've got a, a car one yet, that's the first one. So there we go. But anyway, uh, it seems my next quest is... I think I'll need to see what this is. The Shrine of Power. Because since there doesn't appear to be any further sh shrines of expansion that I can see anyway, there doesn't appear to be one of, along there or you know anywhere. Pretty much, you would think there would be one, especially over this way. I mean, you would think there'd be one. Around here. So, hmm. so I have to briefly pause it. You probably won't notice, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> right, as I was saying, uh, there doesn't appear to be any other expansion shrines. As I say, there are, there are like obvious or even visible. Uh, even as far down as this. Uh, I mean, I, I can't see anything there. Um, I'm guessing that, I mean, if, if I remove like, some trees, they may, sh <laughs> as the saying goes, they may shed some light on the subject. But, saying that, there's not even one. There's only this little bit here. Really, there's, there's no other land, you know, over here that needs uh, uncovering. There's, there's that bit there, but 
you know, it's a, a little strange that there's no no other expansion. So uh, no other like expansion shrine. So, like I say, that will be my next task as to discovering what that power shrine is. So, until next time, I thank you for watching and uh, join me as I discover what that power shrine is.